Hi, my Simple Smart Science fans. Julia Lundstrom here, your neuroscience and brain health educator. And I'm here today to talk to you about our next five day challenge. It starts this coming Monday. So go ahead, click the link and sign up because we are talking all about sleep. Uh, we're looking at sleep, which is a bit ironic for me because I did not get to sleep last night. We have so many fun things going on. I didn't fall asleep till 1.30, which is really crazy for me, but I was just so excited. My heart was racing, thinking about all the cool stuff ahead. So that was my night, but then I slept in and I feel great because I am an eight or a nine hour girl. I'm nine hours if I haven't been that healthy or haven't worked out, things like that. If I've been extremely healthy and I've been treating my body really right, then I, I only need eight hours. But then there are those people who swear they only need five or six hours of sleep a night. And here's what I'm going to say. There is a gene that 5% of the population has where they do only need four to five hours of sleep a night. So if you think that's you, I recommend getting tested because if it's not you are doing so much future damage and current damage to your brain. Uh, sleep is the most important thing you can do. You need to sleep. If you don't sleep, you will die within, what is it, three or four days? It's crazy. You have to sleep. So what happens when you don't get enough sleep? You get tr tremendous brain fog. You have memory issues. Long term, it leads to strokes, diabetes, heart disease, dementia, you name it. So, and it builds up over time. So if you're only getting five or six hours every single night, by the time you're 60, 70, you are having some serious issues with your health, health because of your lack of sleep. So go get a good night's sleep. If you're over 50 especially, um, you're going to want to sign up for this challenge because there are different, as you get older, your body does change and you have different sleep challenges. And we go through those on this. We're not, you know, this isn't a, Hey, drink some sleepy time tea in this challenge. We are going to seriously challenge you. You're going to fill out wor CBT worksheets. You're going to absolutely journal and figure out how you're going to go to sleep earlier every night, how you're going to um, increase the time that you sleep and the quality that you sleep. This is so important. It's all free. Uh, we just want to see you there. We want to help you improve your sleep. I like to say that your brain is like a city. And during the day, every single time there's a transmission between neurons, which happens trillions of times a day, it leaves a little bit of trash. And so at night is when the cleaning crew comes out and they're, you know, sweeping up all the streets, taking the graffiti off the walls. But if you don't get enough sleep, you're leaving all that trash behind in certain parts of your brain city. And over time, that's going to build up and build up and you're, it's going to basically look like a dump in your brain and it's not going to function very well. You're going to have poor executive function. You're going to have poor memory recall. You're not going to be able to remember new things. You're going to have brain fog. You're going to feel exhausted, have no energy. I mean, come on. We all know how important sleep is. So let's do something about it next week. Click the link below, sign up for free, and we'll see you then. Thank you.